This Veterans Day, we are looking back 20 years to the start of a project that catalogs the experiences of Latino and Latina veterans. Well, the Vosas Oral History Project is housed over at the University of Texas, and today its founder is actually pushing the project into new terrain. First, some background here. The project's director was a reporter back in the early 90s. She was trying to find books about Latino contributions to World War II. She couldn't find a single one, though. So she wrote her own, and as Chris Davis shows us, that gave rise to the Vosas Oral History Project. Juan Garza has learned a lot in his 75 years. Our country is uh, great because of the contributions of all of us from all walks of life. The son of migrant farm workers from South Texas. And then we'd spend the winter there, and then the spring we'd head out again, and that was our life. He learned to get up before the sun. I showed that I did have hair at one time. It served him well when he served in Vietnam, drafted at age 20 to be an automotive mechanic in the Army. Sometimes you had long hours, sometimes you'd go 24, 48. We went uh, three days without sleeping one time. Garza told his story to the people here. This is people who listened. We received a box of material this past summer. Maggie Rivas Rodriguez started the Voces Oral History Project that's more than just voices. Increasingly, people are finding this material and they know that it's important and they want it documented and preserved. Today is Sunday, April 2nd, 2017. That's what the project does. My father was a sharecropper. It documents, preserves, because no one else was doing it. Well, I thought that the Army would be a good option to go and get a skill there. Rivas Rodriguez says it's important to learn from these stories. Whatever opportunities we have today are opportunities that became available because generations before us made them available. If I could do it, certainly they can do it. Garza learned a lot in college, leading up to a long career. He became Corpus Christi's city manager, then led Austin Energy. He hopes his story teaches the next generation. It just takes some determination, some grit, sticking to it, and you can do it. Everybody can learn. Chris Davis, KXAN News. And yesterday, the Voices Oral History Project celebrated its 20th anniversary. It's operated those two decades on a shoestring budget. Rivas Rodriguez volunteers to do it. Wow. She says with greater financial support, they can make the project more robust and consistent. For more information on how you can donate, you can go to kxan.com. Mm -hmm.